Hello everyone. Today I will show you an experiment with copper sulphate. Right? Here you see, these are the crystals of copper sulphate. Here you see, these are crystals of copper sulphate. Here you see, these are crystals of copper sulphate. And the formula for these crystals of copper sulphate is This is the formula for this copper sulfate is CuSO4 5H2. That means 5 moles of your water of crystallization. Right? Now let us take this copper sulfate in a test tube and let us heat it and let's see what happens. Right? First of all, we take a candle. Now, we have taken this candle, right, take a test tube, here we have taken a test tube and take some copper sulphate in the test tube. Let us take some copper sulphate in the test tube. Let us take Here you see, we have taken this copper sulphate and taken in a test tube. Here you see, we have taken copper sulfate in this tube and let us heat the test tube and see what happens. Here we are heating the test tube and let's see what happens. We are hitting the test tube. You can see very clearly that water up crystallization is on the test tube. You see here, this water crystallization are on the test tube, right? That means it losses its water crystallization that is 5H2O. Therefore, the reaction will be CSO4 5H2O 5 H2 will be will give CSO4 plus 5H2O. It losses its water crystallization. Right, and we take this in a watch glass and see what is the 
color of this copper sulfate. Let us heat it first. On heating the copper sulfate, it losses of crystallization, losses is water crystallization, you see the test tube bubbles of water is there, right? It losses is water of crystallization and see what happens. Now I will take out this heated copper sulfate and see what happens. We are taking this copper sulfate in the watch glass and let's see what is the color of this copper sulfate. We are taking this on a watch glass. Now you see, we have taken the heated copper sulphate and you see this is white in color. That means the blue copper sulphate changes into white color. That means it losses its water of crystallization that is 5H2O. Right? Now you see, this is Copper sulfate, but white in color. That means it losses its water of crystallization. Now let us see if we put water to this white copper sulfate, what happens then? Let us take water and put it. If we take water, here we have taken water. And if I put this water in this, let's see what happens. You see this changes again into blue color, right? That means it is a reversible change. When you heat the copper surface, copper sulfate, hydrated copper sulfate, that is CuSO4 5H2O, it losses its water of crystallization, that is 5H2O, and turns white. And when you put water in this white anhydrous copper sulfate, it again change into blue color. That means it is a reversible chemical change. That is, it is a reversible chemical change. Right? When you heat copper sulfate, hydrated copper sulfate, it losses its water of crystallization and changes it to white. And when you put again water into the anhydrous white copper sulfate, it changes into blue color. That means it is a chemical change and it is a reversal change also. First the copper sulphate was blue and at the end we also get blue color of copper sulphate. 
therefore you can say that it is a reversible chemical change dear friends if you like this video please subscribe like and share thank you everybody for watching this video